right, first thing we're going to do today, we are going to um, review and practice writing and solving numerical expressions. And then we are going to write and identify parts of an algebraic expression. What do you think is happening today? We're going to learn algebra. Awesome. But so learning algebra means there's going to be letters. We are going to put letters into math. How exciting is that? Okay. Um, so this is a little bit of algebra. Some of you might have done a little bit of it before, but this is probably your first time um, learning about it in a classroom. Okay. So. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to solve on in your notebook. I want you to solve this problem right here. Half of the difference between 26 and 18. Um, write the numerical expression and then you can solve it if you want. Alright, half of the difference between 26 and 18. What did you come up with? Sydney? 18 plus 26 minus 18 plus 26 divided by 4. And divided by? 7. Okay, anyone else? I know we have a no, and we all wrote this exact same answer. Jordan? The other way could work too. What's the other way? Uh, 3 divided by, um, in parentheses, 26 minus 18. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? So all of you have those two numerical expressions. Correct. All right. Well, let's go over them. Are these the same? Okay, why are they not the same? Dave? What are the It would be what? Good, they would be different answers. Why, so why are these different? Jack? Okay, so why are they getting different answers? Because order matters when you divide. It's just like subtracting. Order matters. So which one is a half of the distance between 26 and 18? Jordan? Top one. The top one. We, what is a half? It is just like dividing by two. Okay, in this case, this one right here would be um, how can you, we could read this as, um, how do you, the quotient of, no, it's the difference of 26 and 18, I don't know how, how that would be this, okay, um, I'm drawing a blank on that, but, Half of the difference between 20, you're dividing it by 2. So divided it by 2, 2 needs to come out to 10. I have another one for you. Does this work? Yeah. Do you think a half, parentheses, 26 minus 18 works? No. Okay, it says a half. What does of mean? Multiply the difference between 26 and 18. So a half, a number next to a parenthesis means what operation? Multiplication. multiplication. So there could be a multiplication sign here, but you didn't write it though. Parentheses 26 minus 18. So does this work? Yes. yes, it does work. It's a half of the difference. Let's do that first. 
Watch this. Right. Important thing here is division. Uh, the order matters. Let's do. Okay, so for solving your operations, make sure you use gemdas or pemdas. Go ahead and write this in your notebook and solve. Parentheses. Parentheses. 19 minus 8. Close parentheses. Times. Open parentheses. 10 plus 4. Close the parentheses. Plus 8 squared. Go ahead and take time to solve this. Remember, when solving order operations, please only do one step at a time. What are we going to do first in this problem? Sydney? Good. We have two order of operation problems. Or two parentheses problems, right? So we work from left to right. 19 minus 8 is what? Jordan? 11. 11. Now I'm going to bring everything else down. All right, next step, what do we do? In above. Good, we're going to do 10 plus 4 to get 14, because we still have grouping or parentheses. So 14 squared All right, Gabe, what's next? Good, we have um, no grouping, but we do have an exponent. So what is 8? Squared. Emery. 64. 64. It is not 16. Remember, base times the base. Alright, plus 11 times 14. What's the next step? Liam. Good. No grouping, no exponents. You have multiplying and dividing. So we do have multiplying. We do that. What is 11 times 14, Katie? 164. 64. Do we agree with 164? Yes. Okay, good. 164 plus 64. We add those two. That's the last thing. And we get the answer of what, Caitlin? 218. 218. Do we agree with that? Yes. Good. Remember, this is simplifying a numerical expression. We are taking this big thing up here, numerical expression, and we are simplifying it down to one number. We do not put an equal sign. It becomes an equation then. Are we good with that? Question? The start of algebra. All right, here we go. From our guided notes. So an algebraic so expression, an is, algebraic like a expression is like a numerical well, expression. It's like a well, numerical it's expression. Like a numerical except expression. Some of the values in the expression are unknown. The expression are so they unknown. have to be represented by so a variable, instead, represented by of a variable a instead of a number. All right. Here is a algebraic expression. So on your guided notes, the very top of them, there it says blank blank contains numbers, at least one variable, a letter, and an operation. It can have one or more operations. What goes in there? Nikki. Good algebraic expression. I want you to go ahead and write algebraic expression in those two blanks. In the examples below that, I want you to write this example up here. And then I want you to come up with one. Who would like to share some of this algebraic expression? Gabe. Okay. 25 minus parentheses is 2y minus 17. Okay, what do we think? Is this an algebraic expression? Does it? Contain numbers? Yeah. Yes. At least one variable? Yes. Does it have an operation? Yes. So it's an algebraic expression? Yes. Yes, it is. All right. Um, Jack, what's another one? 9y plus 
What do you think? Yes. Yes, this has numbers, letters, and an operation. At least one operation. Jordan. 3D plus 4X plus 25. Plus what? 25. What do you think? Yes. Awesome. All right. Um, Caitlin. 8A times 2B plus 10Z times 268Y. Wow. Does that work? Yes. Yes. Does it have numbers? Yes. At least one variable? Yes. Definitely more than one. And does it have at least one operation? Yes. yes. That's way more than one. Okay. All right. Um, I have one for you now. Is this an algebraic expression? Is this an algebraic expression? I want you to stand up if you think yes. Remain seated if you think no. Two of you. I like it. Confidence, okay? When other people are doing it and you're not. All right. Do you have an explanation why? You're standing up. Kaden. Okay, so you got absolutely nothing. This is an algebraic expression. Okay? The reason, does it contain numbers? Yes, it contains 16. Does it contain at least one variable, a letter? Yes, it contains x. Does it contain an operation? It does. It does contain an operation. What is the operation? Liam. Good. This is 16 times x. I talk about here every once in a while how math, we get lazy, right? We don't want to write the dot. So we just combine our 16 and our x for multiplication. So this is an algebraic expression. All right. Are we good with that? So from now on, whenever you see 16 and an x, or any number then variable, it means to multiply. Okay? What about this one? Is this an algebraic expression? Anyone have an answer? Emery? No, because you put the y in front of the two. That's uh, 17 x, y, z. Oh. oh. My bad. This is a z. Hey. So it's an algebraic expression. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, we have 17 times x times y times z. Do we have numbers? Yes. Do we have at least one variable? Yes. yes, we have three of them. Do we have an operation? Yes. Yes, we have multiplication three times. Okay, so that works. What about this? This is an algebraic expression. No, why not? Sure. Doesn't have any variables. No variables. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead. We have a bunch of examples there. Now let's go ahead and talk about some key terms in um, algebraic expression. Let's call it variable. So a variable is a letter that represents an unknown value. That means x could represent any number in the entire universe. Y could represent any number in the entire universe. Okay, so can we solve 5a? With this information given, can we solve for it? 
No. No, why not? Michael. We have no idea what A is equal to. A can mean any number. So if you can try to guess what A equals, it can be any number. There are endless amount of numbers. Okay. Uh, so you cannot solve that. Okay. A variable is a list. All right, next one. A term. This is a big important one here. Make sure we're following along with this one. Okay, it says a number, a variable, or a product of number, and one or more variables. So that's a lot there. This breaks it down more. Separated by a plus or minus sign. As long as the plus and minus sign are outside the parentheses. So here, we have a plus sign and a plus sign. So how many terms are there? Let me look it up here. How many terms would there be in this algebraic expression? Emery, three. there's three of them. One, two, three. So you have 3x, you have 4y, and you have 12. Let's try this one. Um, 7 plus 3 parentheses a plus b. How many terms are in this algebraic expression? Caitlin, what do you think? Four. Four. Anyone else? Sydney? Three. Three. Anyone else? Emery? Should have an answer for hands raised. Three. 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 Four. Three. Okay, let's go over it. Back to what a term is. It's separated by a plus or a minus sign as long as a plus and minus sign are outside the parentheses. I'm going to circle my addition and subtraction signs that are outside my parentheses. Does this one count? No, because it's inside the parentheses. So how many terms would this have? Sydney, it has two terms. It has 7 and 3 times parentheses A plus B. Can you pair with that? Okay, if you have that answer, let's go over some other practice. If you have questions, please let me know so I can help you. Um, 3 plus 15a minus 16 parentheses 5 plus 2. How many terms are we going to have here? Samantha? 3. Anyone else? Dave? Three. 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 Sydney. Three. Three. Anyone different? Jack. Two. Anyone different than that? Okay. Let's go over. We're going to circle our addition and subtraction signs that are outside parentheses. I have one here. And I have one here. Does this one count? No. No. So how many terms do we have? Kale, what do you think? Three. We have one, two, three. Okay. Is it that? All right. That is the term. We'll keep practicing this as we go along today. All right, a constant. Let's go over the next one. The term constant. Actually, let's do this. Does anyone know which one the constant is? Which one is the constant? Annabella. The what? The y. What is the y? Y is the variable. Liam. Twelve. Twelve is the constant. Do you know why twelve is the constant? Kaden. It only contains numbers, nothing but constant. It's going to constantly be the same thing. 
Will 12 ever change? No. Can 3x change? Yes, we could say x equals 1. That would be 3 times 1. We could say x equals 2. That would be 3 times 2, which is 6. This can change. This is always going to be 12. So it stays constant. It's always just a number. Does that make sense? And coefficient. Does anyone have a guess what the coefficient is? Sydney. The one with the variable. The ones with the variable, so like 3x? The whole thing? Okay. Um, Dave. The number part of a general variable. Perfect! Nice! Way to read the definition there. Okay? The number part of the term with variable. So, our coefficients in this case are 3 and 4. It is the number in front of the variable. The coefficient doesn't change, but the answer of the coefficient and variable can change. Okay? So, class 5a, what is the coefficient? Kayla? 5. 5. What is the variable? Samantha? Hey, how many terms is this? How many terms? Jordan? Zero. Zero. Only one out. Sydney? Two. Two. Emery? One. One. Samantha? Zero. Zero. Okay, we have... 5a, go back to a term, a term separated by a plus or a minus sign. I'm blowing at the plus or minus sign or outside the parentheses. Do we have any plus or minus signs here? No. no. So how many terms is this? One. It is one term. Jack. How is it one term if there's no plus or minus? Because you have one thing here. If it was zero, then we'd have no numbers, right? This is a term. There's one of them. Okay. Anyone else? Back up to the term. It says a number, a variable, or a product of a number and or more variables. So this is a term. Let's see one more. How many terms do you think it is? I can have to use a term. Okay. Let's try this. 5a plus 6b minus 7 plus 14. How many terms would there be here? Owen? Zero. Anyone else? David? One. One. Anyone else? Jack? One. Anyone different than zero and one? Okay. Now, how many plus and minus signs we have that are outside the parentheses? How many do we have? Zero. So how many terms is this? It is one term. Okay. You all right? Clear as mud. Okay, so this is similar to part three on the back. Um, classify expressions as either a numerical expression or an algebraic expression. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show these, and you're going to tell me whether they're numerical and or algebraic, and I'll probably ask other questions along the way. Okay, what do you think about this one? Nikki. Algebraic. Okay, how many terms are in this algebraic expression? And about two. We have a plus sign, but it's inside our parentheses. So how many terms? There's one term there. One term. All right, 14 times 15 is Sam. This is numerical or algebraic? It's numerical. It's numerical. It has just numbers. 
Okay. Uh, we have 75 A, B, Kale. Uh, algebraic. algebraic. What are the variables in this algebraic expression? Jack. A and B. What is the coefficient? Um, Emery. 75. 75. Good. All right. 3x minus 4y plus 2z. That is, Kaden? Algebraic. Algebraic. Jacob, how many terms do you think are in this situation? Three. Three. I agree with you. We have one minus sign, one plus sign. That gives us three different terms. What are the coefficients in this expression? Samantha. Three, four, and two. Three, four, and two. Awesome. X plus 6y plus 20. Caitlin. Algebraic. Algebraic. What is the constant in this situation? Sydney. 20. 20. Is x a constant? No, because x can mean any number. Right? And we can't say it's a constant yet because we don't know what x is. Alright, 51 divided by 17, Emery. Numerical. Numerical. 40 times 30, Gabe. Uh, numerical. Numerical. Owen. Numerical. Numerical. 20M. Jeff. Numerical. This is numerical? We have 120m. It's algebraic, and why is it algebraic? Good, it's 20 times m. It has that variable. All right, what about this problem? X. Is that an algebraic expression. Katie? No. no. Samantha? No. No. Jordan? No. No. Sam? No. Liam? No. Does anyone think it's yes? Raise your hand you think yes it is. Oh. What? Okay, but remember, uh, numeric or uh, algebraic expression needs an operation, a number, and a variable. Do we have all of those here? Yes, we do. Are you ready? They have all of those. Remember, I told you how we get lazy. How many x's do we have? How many x's are there? One. One. What do you think? could go in front of the x. A 1x. What's the coefficient? 1. What's the operation? 1x. So the operation would be? 1 times x. So the operation is multiplying. Do we have numbers? Do we have variables? Do we have an operation? Again, we are lazy. We are lazy, lazy. We don't want to write the one in front of it. So that is an algebraic expression. Okay, it's kind of a tough one. Though. Emery. Are those some, are those some like that going on at homework? Um, not like that, but you do need to know that if you have just a variable, you have to know that the coefficient is one. Okay, so if you're just given a, What's the coefficient? One. One. Okay. All right. Okay, now what I would like for you to do in part three, I want you to put A through F in either a numerical expression or algebraic expression. That is part three of your guided notes. All right, in your guided notes, part three. A is, uh, Jordan. Um, numerical. Good, a numerical expression. B is, Nikki? Algebraic. Algebraic, awesome. What, how many terms are in B? Kaden? One term. Good, C is a? 
Sydney. Algebraic. How many terms are in that one? In C, how many terms? Caitlin. Three. Not three. Samantha? Two. There are two. We only have one subtraction sign. If you circle that subtraction sign, you're split into two different terms. Does that make sense? Okay. What about D? D is a... Uh, Sam? Algebraic. How many terms? Liam? Two terms. What is the constant? I want you to be looking at your paper. What's the constant for D? Emery? Good. 654. Uh, what about E? Gabe? Numerical and F is Nikki. Numerical. Numerical. Okay, nice job with that. 